All right, we're on. How come there's no filter tonight? Okay. Yeah, your finger works, but not mine. Okay. <clears throat> it's fine. We look great. Look at us. Look at us right there. What a good looking Cash group. us. Cash us tonight. Cash us here. Dude, this person's always first. I don't know who it is. Whoa. Always positive. It's like a, yeah, so it's like I, a Korean uh, robot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? So somehow it notifies people on their phone. I get it. I get it just through email, not through like a notification. I don't know how that works. It's a setting you can turn it on for somebody, like if you see their live. Yeah. And then it'll pop up and you just click turn, turn notification when that person's live. That's cool. Mm. We have 10 people on, two likes. What's up, 108 M Cruise? Come on, Totem. You're on my phone, homie. Is, what is that? Is that your Ew. juice? Is that Totem's oh juice my on my phone? His dick juice? That is not cool. That was nasty. Really? I touched it. What do your girlfriends do when the guys approach them at the mall? They don't. <laughs> What's up, Shane? Guys don't approach my girls. No. <clears throat> a woman can hold her space in a way that it's difficult to approach. Not impossible, but very difficult. If she's alert and she's not surprised, the guy won't approach. Unless they're crazy. Unless they're crazy. What's up? What's up? Ralph Acero's on. Oh shit, dog pre. What's that mean? Pre. Oh, I should I should drink a little bit. I have no alcohol on me at the moment. Wow. Yeah. Still How much there. alcohol do you have, Jessica? Not that much. Six uh, sips of wine. Biggest haters here. That's not you. Hilarious. You're looking all great as always. There you go, Shane. Shane throws out a compliment. Maybe it'll get somewhere. What'd you say? You have a little wine. I had two sips. Two sips, girl. You gotta get going. Girl. I gotta cash you. I gotta you cash you cash when you're it. drunk. You're the truth, Arash. That's what I keep hearing. I've been saying this since I was a little boy. Now the world's saying it. Shh. Give me another couple of years. See what happens. Shh. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for everything. You're welcome. Oi, wanker. How are you? New girl. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> the American dream. What else is? Love this message. Just ate two G of mushrooms. I'm ready for this shit. Jeez, bro. Don't do I drugs. I'm ready to shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> ready to shit. We're ready to shit, everybody. So how's the documentary going along? I haven't recorded. Well, did we record? We recorded a little bit when I was in LA. It was weak for me. Oh, no, no. That was a good scene for me. Alejandro, what's up, brother? Yeah. Cheers. Come on, Jessica. Take a, take a, take a drink with me. It's behind you. Stand up so everybody sees what you're wearing. Oh, got a little bit of skin right there. Look, show a little bit of skin. No, don't do that. How can I get four beautiful girlfriends like you? I have three beautiful girlfriends. This is not my girlfriend. This is my good friend. What made you cry at the theater? Oh, man. A lot. Hello, Raj. Hello, Electra. Hello, Hannah. Jessica. What's the name of a new pack member? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll introduce her properly. I'm writing down exactly the girls want to meet, and the universe is bringing me what I want. I have great rapport with the universe. Good. Good evening, Raj and company. Hey, Raj. What's up? When it comes to seduction, comfort is first. But you do. But when do you set the frame? I'll answer questions in a little bit. Guess I can get a little closer. That's good. A lot. Care to elaborate? What does that mean? I only see want to meet you in person and get on some game. When do you come to LA? I'll be in LA next month. Every month I'll be in LA. Mm -hmm. 29 people, 7 likes. Let's see if we could get 29 likes. Like, Oops. Straight into the leg. I'm there. Okay. Are you that hot? Are you as hot as that girl's picture? <laughs> I'll pay to get in too. Well, it's an event. So you'll pay. It's not going to be that expensive probably. I really like this alcohol. Cool. I forgot really? how good it was. Yeah, always excited when I see a notification of Rosh on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Cool. This is called Seventeen Ninety Two. It's a Scotch. My friend introduced it to me. It gets you fucked up real fast. You said a lot when I asked, "What made you cry?" Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was there to honor Manu after twenty years. I hadn't been on that stage for twenty years. Hello, everybody, and the new girl. Beard is fucking on point. Wow, well, you should have seen it earlier. I just got out of the shower. It's a little puffy. <laughs> But it was it was a good beard day today. They see it during the day when it's straight and like a energy piece. Who's the new schlag? What does that mean? <laughs> What's that? I like how you said it. Schlag. What's a schlag? Where are you at? So far away. Sounds like a pirate. Give me an arm or something. 
What is that? It's my hand. <laughs> Put it on my shoulder at least. Wow, you look so happy. Namaste, girls. How do you girls walk so guys don't approach them? How do your girls walk? They walk with purpose and with teeth and claws. And an energy claws. shield. <laughs> I don't have... This, this fingers, these fingers don't bend. Claws. What are good books to read for getting mad be biddies like you? I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Question to all, what's the weirdest food you ever had? That's weird. What's up, Shide? That's my Viking brother. What car do you drive now, boss? I drive a 370Z. Sport. Pretty fast. New rows added to your garden of fortune. <laughs> People are so, always so fascinated by the new girl, right? I know. So funny. <laughs> Oops, sorry. The ring sliced you. How are you feeling over there? Slice and dice. Hurting? Uh -huh. Yeah. Jessica's got uh, food poisoning a little bit, so. Arash, right, have you studied Napoleon Hill's books? Yeah, a lot. Do you pay? Do you pray to Socrates? No, I don't pray to nobody, dog. Bro, check out Dynamic Laws of Thinking Rich, okay? Jesus, shout out with the water. Do you know if pineapple makes cum taste better? That's what I hear, but I haven't tasted any man's cum, so I have no idea. <laughs> How many street fights have you been in? Since I started fighting, I have not had any street fight, like... <clears throat> a lot of confrontations, but no hits yet. What's up, Stan? Stan the Boxer. The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Watts. Have you read it? Mm, some of it, an audiobook, but it didn't keep my interest. I got you Science of Getting Rich right here, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Should read some Arash, Science of Getting Rich. Scroll up a bit. You missed my marketing idea comment, okay? What's your favorite music genre? I don't have any. I don't have a favorite. No. Do you snort gunpowder on a bad day? Yeah. Totally. And then I spit bullets out of my mouth. Yeah. I go, gunpowder? <laughs> my, my words are like bullets through your mind. My mind's like a bullet. How long do you meditate in your morning ritual? I stopped meditating about four days ago. Should be right back. Yes, yes. Oh, sexy. Mm -hmm. Arash, right. you bump any riffraff on your car? No. I met a girl that looks very similar to Electra. I was very excited on the date. <laughs> she sent me a pic. Let's see. Let's see how similar she looks. Doesn't even happen. Mm -hmm. No? Whoa. Look how pretty Kessa looks. Totally. Super pretty. <laughs> <laughs> the Matrix wasn't a movie. It was a documentary. Cool. Arash, what do you think about dating sites? If they're good, are you on good terms with your parents? I'm very good terms with my parents. Terms. I love my parents. You stopped using? <laughs> what? Will yeah. you start meditating again? Yes. Haters aren't on point, though. We don't have haters yet. I'm waiting for them. Poor Jess, what did she eat? I don't know, but something not good because she's <laughs> in the bathroom right now. Yeah. Fixing it. I worship like a dog at the shrine of your lies. I'll tell you my sins so you can sharpen your... It's going to be a very, very good lecture, guys. I'm waiting for more people. I bought Renegade Hypnosis Project. Conditioning with Pleasure is so powerful. Do you use it? Yes. Have you listened to Alan Watts? Yes. Shh, no, no. <laughs> no. The crack like always eats my. I like fall Closer, into man. it every time. I wish it like a dog. I can't believe he ate my massage ball. Shadow. Of course, anything left out, especially a ball. He, he eats found it. everything. 
<laughs> he eats USB. What's the difference between a chickpea and a gabanza bean? I don't know. I have a gabanza bean on my face. I don't pay. It's the so. same thing. Yeah. Have you heard Ordinary <laughs> Life by the weekend? No. New girl. So shy, but yet so pretty. What would you do to a friend that constantly disrespects you in public? It's not a friend. Do you have any cats? No. But I have a lot of pussy around me. Could you please explain why <laughs> hypnosis is dangerous? You said they don't come out of trance. That's why. Because they don't fully come out of a trance. Can you please go check on Jessica? Mm -hmm. You ever the potent ginger apple cider vinegar cinnamon shake? No, but I'm sure Kessa knows what it is and she'll give me some if I need it. Have you ever studied any of Jito Krishna's? Yes, Krishnamurti is one of my favorite people. How many dogs you have guarding the kingdom now? Four. Four bulls. Do you know about Jason Capital? I don't know who he is. When are you putting your watches audio programs in Audible, Hannah? Geez, it's been like five years. McGregor or Mayweather? Mayweather will win. It's 11.30 in India. My boss staring at me when I'm busy on live. Cool. India. We're in India right now. That's so cool. Yeah. It's so cool, right? Watching yeah. us in India, across the world. Totally. How's your bodybuilding coming on? Uh, Ralph, I'm not bodybuilding. I keep telling everybody. The eye reading is it very, very powerful. When I do it, yeah. I do it. I don't call it eye reading anymore, but I, I do some powerful shit. I watch. Answer the questions properly. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. Look busy. He's coming. What are you talking about? Why are you so stupid? I'm lazy as fuck. What's something I could do to stop being lazy? No. no. If you're lazy, I can't help you. Damn. Wow, Jason Capital. If I join Diamond Mind, do we get to meet you in person? No. When are you coming to San Diego, player? I'm not. I'm not. I have really bad anxiety. Can you tell me how to deal with anxiety when it comes? Yeah, let it pass through. Don't resist. Just be there. Don't make any major decisions and let it pass. Okay? Let it pass through. Make sure you're aware when you sit down with your body, okay? Can you learn from fiction? Hell yeah, dude. Some, I've learned a lot from fiction. If you don't hypnotize people, how do you use conditioning with pleasure? No. Uh, hypnosis has not been fully um, codified. So there are ways to do it that's okay, and there are ways that are not okay. That's all I can tell you. What's your top three priorities right now these days? Same priorities as they've always been. Cracking the codes, man. I just, I'm here to crack codes. Move. Crack codes. Codes and crack hoes. <laughs> crack codes and crack hoes. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> you, could, you could hurt while you're closer to me. Did you know that? I just want you closer to me. What happens if you get closer? It hurts more? I feel very claustrophobic. Oh, is that why? Yeah. That doesn't help. <laughs> 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 oh, air the new girl's hair is amazing. Yeah, it is. Well, when you're uncomfortable, you come close because I have distance anxiety right now. <laughs> I have a new thing called distance anxiety. <laughs> okay, let's go. We'll start in about five minutes. 44 people, 14 lives. Arash, what's your advice for running out of things to say in conversation? Can you, uh, I don't run out of things to say. Your mind is so busy. Just talk about what's in the hair. Is that Gia? No. Gia and I broke up. Her family threatened to take her child. <laughs> <laughs> That's some fucked up shit. Your energy is strong, brother. Hella strong, dog. You don't even know. That's the lecture is right. You don't even know how strong my energy is. Are you familiar with any of members like RSC? No. no, I don't know what those people are, who they are. What do you recommend you study for hypnosis? Just all of it, and Milton Erickson is the best. No. Is mesmerism different in hypnosis? Yes. What's your idea about smoking weed for anxiety? I mean, I don't know. Inner heaven, no. homie. Sorry, she looks just like her. No, she doesn't. Uh... Someone no. asked, "Does your do your parents support your game stuff?" No, do they? They don't. I don't care. I'm an adult. It's not about supporting me. It's about I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I watch a crystal of social dynamics. Inner heaven, gang, gang. Inner heaven sounds nice. Inner heaven loves the stream. What the hell is this? Are you guys uh, trolls? Is that like a troll thing? Yeah. Inner heaven. Yeah. It's like a code. Uh, do you believe in magic spells? Absolutely. I think I will join. No, these guys are trolls. It's like the. Pakistan. Yeah, totally. <laughs> We're here for the knowledge. Okay, cool. Cool. There we go. We have we have the trolls. It's all good now. How much have I spent total on oh Versace? God. No idea. 
<laughs> too much. This door. Enough for them to know I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> Basically own it. Enough they for them to, to know that I... Mr. D. Bizarre yeah. when you come. Oh, when I walk in, they know. Yeah. Nothing like watching a rush while getting some. Cool. No. Okay, we start in one minute. Okay. Okay. Guy, girl, dynamic. Male, female. How do you be confident in yourself without coming off as cocky or full of yourself? Um... I am full of myself and I am cocky and I don't really care what anybody says. How's that for confidence? How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? Oh, okay. It's a training joke. Beside popping pills, any advice on depression? Don't pop pills. There's my advice. Mm -hmm. Respect. You dig. You're, you're so fucking awesome. Thank you. I feel energy for the fourth Reich. Okay? Push the like buttons. Guys, can anyone see my writing this? Uh, fuck. I can sound okay. I'm going to start now. Okay, all your questions and comments will be answered later. Okay? Here we go. Everybody, welcome to this Wednesday evening lecture or night, or is it daytime now? I don't know. It's midnight yet. I'm Araj Zapar, motherfucking D-Bazaar. I'm here with three of my beautiful girlfriends and my beautiful friend. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Hannah. It's my beautiful girlfriend, Jessica, who's slightly feeling ill tonight. And this is my beautiful girlfriend, Lecture. And this is my beautiful friend, Kessa. Very, very pretty. Tonight's lecture is something that keeps coming up in the live streams in the morning time. Midday, I keep getting asked questions like this on Instagram, so I'm going to talk about a little bit more about the male and female dynamic and what the main thing that keeps coming up is what do men need to do to be more men, okay? This is like a big deal that keeps showing up. What are some things that a man has to do to be more of a man? So I'm going to give you my perspective on this. Nice. And then I will answer your questions and uh, comments by the end, okay? So here we go. When we talk about a man, there's some qualities that a man must have. One, a man must, to be a man, be a brother of the truth, a child of the truth, a master of the truth, a friend of the truth, a disciple of the truth. A man, to be a man, must have a very, very intimate relationship with truth. Let me explain to you what's going on here. Genetically, if we were all a tribe and we had a man over there that kept lying to the rest of the tribe, all the men would kill that man. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody would kill the man that lied. If he lied about whatever pig he hunted, if he lied about whatever, any time he lied, we would kill that man because he would be a liar, he'd be a coward. He wouldn't be a warrior. And in ancient times, we all had to defend our own tribes. We couldn't call the cops, right? We were the cops at that time. So a man must be a brother of the truth. Also, if he's a liar, let's pretend like you have a liar as a man. What is he going to teach his son? To be a liar? What about his daughter? And how does his wife trust him if he lies? If there's no trust, there's no relationship. And if your wife doesn't trust you, it's different than you don't trust her. Those are two separate things, by the way, and we'll get into that. But if your wife or girlfriend or mate does not trust you as a man, you don't have a relationship yet. It starts with the woman trusting the man. This is what's been missed, right? If a man trusts a woman but she doesn't trust him, you don't have a relationship yet. But the moment a woman trusts a man, the relationship begins to take place. What's funny over here? <laughs> what am I missing? 
<laughs> Hold on, let's find out what's happening here. What's that? You're laughing. You're laughing. At the comments? Who cares? <laughs> Why are you guys even doing the comments? I'm, I'm talking. I'm the comments. I'm we're, we're more, You're listening. We're still yeah. laughing at, because Hannah's laughing. laughing it's contagious. Hannah. Yeah, but I'm lecturing. You guys want to read the fucking <laughs> comments or you want me to lecture? The fuck are you guys I doing? I need to lecture. Well, then fuck off with the comments. Don't even worry about it for right now, okay? Let me do my lecture. Totally I have little comments sorry. later. Seriously. Yeah. A man first has to be trusted, right? He has to be trusted by the other men around him because if he wasn't, they would kill him. And then he has to be trusted by the woman that he's going to mate. Now, we don't trust the person who lies. Yeah. That's why we call them liars, right? Totally. And so I started by telling you the first quality of man is he must be truthful. So if you right now are not being truthful and you want to have more of a manly presence, more power, the first thing you have to start with is ask yourself, how, what is your relationship with truth? Think about it for just a second. This is not going to work if you're going to be over there. Mm. Yeah, it's just not going to work if you're going to be over there. What do you want me? I want you on camera. You're not even on camera. Is, is the pain so great or what do you want to do? I need to lay down. Can you lay down on me? Yeah, right yeah. 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 figure it out. Just lay on camera. <laughs> Worst pillow ever. <laughs> <laughs> that pillow has spikes. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, lay here. Well, let me put it on my own. Okay, that's, that works. Just lay like that. It's okay. Okay. So, do, is, uh, is all the girls, you guys tracking with me right now on this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, you have to be first truthful. Because if a man is not truthful, his brothers don't trust him. His mates don't trust him. And if he's not trusted, can we even call him a powerful man? No, we can't. We can't, right? Yeah. Let's start with you, Hannah. What do you have to say about that? Well, <clears throat> I mean, I know that there's so much power, like you just said, like, can you be a powerful man without truth? And there's so much power in the truth, Uh huh. you know, because it doesn't leave um, anything out. And I know that part of, from my own experience, you know, in life where things started to really change for me like me being able to um separate myself from like a regular society and um live in a way that i want to you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. it it had to do with looking at what is true like accepting it and then knowing knowing that like so deep number one you always say when you know truth you feel it right i think so i think if you know truth you feel truth yeah right totally yeah so like once I got that and once I felt that, it was really easy to just like start cutting out shit that I knew wasn't real or that I knew was not the truth, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I could start living, you know, more of like a, I think that free is not the right word, but more of a free life. Okay, good. Thank you for the big lecture. I just wanted okay. like a little thing. Now nobody else is going to talk. <laughs> Sorry. You girls, thank Hannah for taking your time tonight. Oh, gosh. Okay. We start with... <clears throat> A man is somebody who is truthful, mm -hmm. and to the degree that he is truthful, he's a man. Mm -hmm. This is where I shine as a man. There's no doubt in anybody's life that I'm surrounded by beautiful women. Uh, when Kessa showed up today to my office, there was two other girls there, right? Mm -hmm. Were they attractive? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for whispering that, Kessa. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But it originally wasn't two girls. It originally was one girl. As I was hanging out with her, another girl called. I said, come by, fuck it. Then she came, and I knew that Kessa was coming. And I said to them, wait, wait for her. And then they all met each other. I'm surrounded by beautiful women, but beautiful women know I tell the truth. And so they trust me. And trust is a big, big deal. Were you about to throw up? Is that what you just squeezed my hand? Do you know you just squeezed the shit out of my hand? Were you about to throw up? Okay. Thanks for announcing it to the world. Yeah, but then, no, but, okay. <laughs> go. Okay. So, if, if truth is something that you as a man are not carrying with you in your heart, and in your mind, 
and your actions to the degree. Now, see, it's a it's a it's a term that's not like ult- there's no ultimate truth on this thing. It's more and more truth. Like even myself, I discover more and more truth as I get older and wiser, and I look at life. I go, oh wait, there, there's more truth here to be had, right? Yeah. So. It's how much truth you carry to that degree, you could say, you are now opening the door for male energy to enter. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. So first comes, how truthful are you? Right? And with that, do your brothers trust your word? It's a big deal. My brothers trust my word. My friends, my allies, my friends, and I said that already, my friends, my allies, my friends, they know that if I said something, I'm going to do it. Then women, do they trust what you're going to say you're going to do? Absolutely. Okay? From there, we got the next quality. So you have truthful man, is a powerful man, and has opening for male energy to enter. Next. Is actually very, very interesting. Watch this. Listen carefully. This is, this is going to surprise you is aggressive male energy is aggressive in nature okay now aggressive has been misunderstood like if you are an aggressive criminal that's not okay because a criminal is a liar see that a thief a coward but if you're aggressive in what manner towards your goals a man should be aggressive towards his goals doesn't that make sense Mm -hmm. yeah you should aggressively attack your goals you should aggressively attack your day, right? You should aggressively, get this, defend your family. Totally. Like you should never lightly defend them. There's a video online of me defending my girlfriends against some hoe who tried to talk shit. Mm-hmm. It was very aggressive. It's funny. Yeah, but it was aggressive. I don't want to lightly defend anybody. I mean, I don't want to lightly treat the subject if someone attacks my family. Yeah. It should be known that I will aggressively defend my tribe. Because if we're in the old days, imagine you have the men and then there's one man with a spear or a sword and the enemy starts attacking and he kind of lightly plays with them. You'd be like, you got to finish those people. They're the enemy. They have to know that if they're going to step into our tribe and attack our women, that our men are extremely aggressive. Doesn't that make sense? Does that make sense? Yeah. Electra? Let's see what you got to say. Yeah, I, th- I think that, you know, um, women, you know, are not truthful. Uh, in, we know this, but I'm talking yeah, about men. totally. But, but that's why it's so, like, important, you know what I mean? To bring yeah. that aspect, you know? And there's nothing like truth, you know? There's just nothing like it. It's so powerful. It's so pure. It's so strong, you know? And to... To really have it and to really come across it and to really like experience it in certain subjects is really fucking powerful. And I really appreciate that about what you bring, you know? Absolutely. I mean, the truth is the way to go for me, right? Because um, if you don't tell the truth as a man, you're hurting yourself in the end. I wonder how many men watching this have had a very bad breakup because your girlfriend or wife found out about you, whatever those are. Found out you were talking to another girl. Found out you were cheating, right? And then you saw how devastating the results were. Or how many women watching this have found out about their man. There's nothing to find out if everything is put out in the open. Totally. There's only this idea that maybe, possibly, she won't accept it. She may not accept your truth, but there's other women who will when you have these other qualities. Mm -hmm. So you could have a very truthful man that is actually not aggressive towards his goals, not aggressive towards the family, not aggressive towards making life better, and that man, just being truthful, doesn't make him a man. He needs to have one plus two. Does that make sense? Totally. So we see that, you know, something very funny happened last night. I was out for a while, right? And... uh, I was being interviewed in this one restaurant, very nice restaurant, and next thing I was surrounded by four beautiful women, and the waitress was very pretty, mm. and it, it was on fire, right? The waitress gave me her number, and uh, you know, I had five martinis last night and two Whoa. shots Whoa. of tequila, Whoa. right? In about an hour and a half, that's when you guys picked me up, I was just, 
right? <laughs> so, uh, but something very interesting happened. I, uh, as the waitress came up, we'd already exchanged numbers. I went like this, and I touched her cheek, like that, and then she was like, hmm. like like in a negative way. Mm-hmm. Oh, she went like this, oh. and I said what? And she was like, well, that was a little aggressive, like that. Oh. And, and at that moment, she just pushed the button in me. Yeah. I hate when someone tells me I'm too aggressive. I'm like, you have no idea how aggressive I can actually be. You, you need to calm the fuck down. If that's aggression, you're an ant, okay? <laughs> so I said, was that aggressive? And she was like, yeah. And then she, I know that she knows one of my brothers who's actually very tough because she told me when I met her. I said, you know my brother so-and-so, right? She goes, yeah. I said, how aggressive is he? She goes, very aggressive. She still has her hand by her face, by the way. I said, I'm at least as aggressive as him, if not more. Why don't you ask him about me? Hmm. And then I said, now, look, this is an affection. Don't get it wrong. And then I said, I go, you see all these people here? I pointed to the bar. I said, if some shit went down right now and they attacked you, you'd be very fucking happy how aggressive I am at that moment. I would fuck everybody up right now. Everybody. Totally. I said, at that moment, you'd be very fucking happy that I'm fucking aggressive. I said, so when you call me aggressive, you're fucking right. I'm a fucking man. I said, but this was not aggressive. This was affection. And do you know what this fucking bitch says? I was telling Batata this today, actually. What did she, say? Hmm. she goes like this. No, I know. It was actually, watch. I know it was actually really sweet. It just caught me off guard. I was like, oh, and this is me, literally. I go, oh, it was, it was sweet now, huh? Okay, yeah, now it was sweet. And then I was with these two new girls that were here next to me. And I turned to them and I said, you need to see this because the chumps you're hanging out with, she would have broke them right now. Mm-hmm. I said, but now she's saying I'm, I'm sweet. And they laughed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. So we have truth and we have the aggressive nature of a man to go after what he wants and defend what he has. Now, let's flip the picture because we need to look at this because this is how I know what a man is because I look from a woman's perspective all the time. I have enough women around me to know what it is they look for. And I know this is what makes me the powerful man that I am. So from a woman's perspective, I would say that if she has a man who she can trust because he's truthful and honest, knows his friends will back him up because he's truthful and honest, and she knows he will aggressively defend his house and go after his goals, what happens to her? She starts to feel a high level of attraction for this guy. Mm-hmm. Right? You see, the, the girls are all in agreement with this. So from a female perspective, she's not looking at a real man. Right? She's not looking at a real man. This is how we know what the powerful male is. We know it by actually analyzing, get this, the female's response. Mm. Listen, this is very powerful. We know what a powerful male is because we can gauge it by the female's response. Now watch this. Yeah, watch this. I can tell you if you're a man... What is a true female by gauging the man's response to her? Totally. We know what beautiful feminine energy is based on the way the male energy responds to it. Do you see how this works? Yeah. It's fascinating. We can't analyze the male energy and say it's male without considering the female's perspective. In fact, it is literally the female's perspective that makes the male energy male energy. And we can't, we can't, consider a female energy without considering the male perspective. It's what makes her female is the way the male responds to her. So that's why you can't just separate it and the females themselves can't decide, well, this is what feminine means, feminism. No, it's wrong actually because men don't respond to feminism. And we can't take men and men say, well, we know what men are. No, you know what men are. Move. You know what men are based on the way the female responds, period. This is how you analyze that nobody has ever spoken about. Mm-hmm. Is you have to look at the opposite sex to figure out what it is. Yes, it is yin and yang. 
Okay? Jessica, you look like you can talk right now. You want to say something? Are you able to talk yet? Uh, sure. Yeah, let's hear um, what you got to say. So about the lying thing, I think everyone in this house knows I obviously have a thing with that. Yeah. So being with you and right off the bat, you're just so honest. Um, I was so honest with you in the beginning, right? Yeah, fully. I was like, half demon, this is what's going on, these yeah, are my girlfriends. Yeah, I was like, cool, <laughs> where did I sign up? <laughs> um, but that's something that really irks me and bothers me because if you can lie, you like look someone in the eye and lie, then that is a very disgenuine fucked up being for that moment. Yeah. If you are able to do that, then you're just your path in life is wrong. Like you're going to go down a very dark path because you're not going to have, you eventually will end up alone because no one's going to want to be around a liar. Only liars be like, want to be around liars. So yeah, that, really? Cause so, they're safe. Yeah. Right. A, a liar is not safe around an honest person. No, and you created a honest life. You created a life of truth. You created a academy of truth. And mm. like everyone we surround ourselves with are honest people. And so that's something that I really value as a woman is truth and honesty. And that's something that like you don't apologize for even if it's fucked up. Like yeah. you're just like, bam, here it is. So when men think that, oh, it's okay to lie to my woman, I'm going to go out with this girl. No, just be honest with her. And if she leaves you, then that's her fault. Like, that's, that's on her. But totally. That's, like, my part on truth. And the aggressiveness is something that you want to feel protected as a lady. You want to walk outside and know that nothing can touch you, nothing can harm you. And if something tries, oh, God. Good like, luck, baby. Yeah. I'm going to come Good luck, you. literally. Yeah. And that's something that, like, when I walk, I feel untouchable. Yeah, when like, we walk together, you girls all have walked with me, right? Yeah. it's. I, and we walk in areas that there's a lot of guys. And, and, you know, I don't walk where there's chumps. I'm not hanging out where nerds are. Yeah. You know, and you feel safe because you are. Yeah. That's great. Okay. I'll continue. And then we move forward, okay? Um, so we have the truth and we have aggressive towards your goals and defending what's yours. This is very important. Got it? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Wait, okay. I'm going to adjust this. Yeah, totally. Okay. Now. more comfortable Yeah. Because as she gets close, you get close. Okay. There we go. No, you're okay. Okay. Um, we have... The, the defending and going after your goals with 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 aggressive energy. Everybody get that? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's one more thing about a man, male energy that we we have to take a look at. It actually get this. This is deep. It is 100% responsible for where it's at, mm -hmm. and it never points the finger at somebody. Mm -hmm. You got to get this. This is big. No. I don't claim I have this 100%. Like, like everything, this is, there's, no, there's no ultimate to it. Yeah. It just is a scale that keeps climbing, right? But if you as a man are ever blaming somebody else to the degree you blame somebody else for anything, you're not a man to that degree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But don't you think that's a quality of like a, a, like a, a powerful being instead of it being like a male quality? Good question. Mm -hmm. Yes. A powerful being ultimately is the yin and the yang. Mm -hmm. It's not separated. Right. Whoa. I'm not, yes. I'm not so great at life because I'm just male. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I totally understand the female. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I keep a tremendous amount of female energy inside of me. Yeah. You get that? Yeah. I know men that are very man. Mm -hmm. but they have no female in them. Yeah. So they're completely not yin yang. No, they're not. Do you get what I'm saying? I, yeah. I know some very powerful men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Super aggressive, super honest, but around a female, they break. Yeah. yeah. I saw one today. Mm. I saw one today. Right? And one of the most powerful men I know. And then something very interesting happened. A female came by. Yeah. And he just didn't know where to go with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? And so then I stepped up and, and did what I did. But the true power is in the yin-yang as one symbol, not two separate. Yeah. yeah. But first we separate it and analyze it and understand it. Then we bring it together. Right. Mm. Right? 
So yes, a very powerful being would be honest, whether it's a man or a woman. A very powerful being would be uh, aggressive towards their goals and defending their people, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And a very powerful being would... Uh, what was the third thing I said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, know, you, know, you don't point the finger at me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That is very, very true. I have a question about yeah. that. So... I believe, and I'm, I, I can feel that I'm mm. totally wrong in this as well, but... <laughs> I'm already woman, wrong, but I'm going to tell you. Yep. A, a lady cannot be a yin and a yang, because mm. she wouldn't be a, a, like a, a feminine woman, you know? Okay, good. Let's talk about that, okay? Now it's, the lecture's kind of shifting, but this is why I like you guys talking. <laughs> Electra is a good example <clears throat> of this, okay? Mm -hmm. Electra with me is extremely female. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can't remember the last time she raised her voice at me. I just don't remember it. I can't remember the last time she argued. I, I know a moment of like spurt and then she goes. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. uh, I can go on and on and on. Right. Very female. But Electra, when I'm not around, carries a very powerful male energy in her. Which is very forward, very, very direct very don't fuck with me I will fuck you up yeah. then she comes around me and she softens up and you guys have seen her face and she becomes soft so uh, so that doesn't make her ugly outside mm -hmm. right she carries the male and the female and knows where it's at myself when I'm around my teachers I become female mm -hmm. I become receptive to my teachers I give space mm -hmm. right I, I let them have the stage then, when the time comes, I flip it. I think I have the wrong impression of yin and yang then. Can mm. you, like, describe that? Yeah, yes. yin would be female. Yeah. Which is the dark one. Yeah, but... Yang would be male. Together, you have the one symbol. Mm. They're not two separate symbols. They're one symbol. Mm. It's called the yin-yang symbol, right? Mm -hmm. And it's one symbol. If you separate it, it's not the, that symbol anymore. So it's one symbol that yeah, carries I both. Yeah, that. So, I guess, um... More, please. I'm getting the wait. The yin is the woman. Yeah. The yang. I'm. I don't understand the yang part because I. That's don't the male see... that I'm going over right now. Yeah. So I'm going over the yang right now. Okay. The truthful, defending so you're and aggressive. saying that Electra has yin and yang. If we all do, we all carry yin yang, but it's been off balance. But if you have a female body, right, mm -hmm. it expresses the yin a lot more. But to balance, uh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I, yeah, I express the yang, the male, yeah. right? However, all of you know that I'm actually very sensitive. Yeah, but it's not like an equal thing. It's not like yin and yang, 50-50. That's or, interesting. That's interesting. That's what I'm... That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now it's yeah. getting really, really far into it. Thank you. Okay. Um, ultimately, Oy. ultimately, right? It's perfectly 50-50. Mm. But it moves. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, symbol, yeah. The symbol rotates. Okay. That's People miss that it's energy moving. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stay like this. Uh, yeah. So throughout, I'll give you an example. When you, when you sleep, you're yin. Mm -hmm. When you wake up, you're yang. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. When you eat, you're yin. When you process and digest, that's yang. Mm. So it's within, <laughs> and within everything. Yes, really the, the seventh alchemy law says everything in the universe is yeah. gender based, and yin and yang is supposed to be. Oh. You get it? This is what people haven't known for a very oh, long that's time. Powerful. It's very powerful. Yeah. Okay, when you speak out, like I'm speaking, you're yang. When you're listening, you're yin. Mm -hmm. Then you speak, I'm listening, I'm yin, you're yang. Male and female in everything. Mm. You see that? Yeah, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now we're just analyzing the male. So yeah. you can, as a female also, you can have a more yang part, which would make you very unattractive at moments. But when you bring the yin around a male, that, that like, that's right, right? Around, uh, I mean, the yin around your man. To the degree that when you face a man, to the degree that he has yang, you'll have yin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the more alpha person, it'll start to... Okay. Submit the woman. Okay. Yin is submissive. Sense. Yeah. To submit, to give one. Yeah. Self up. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a lot of talking from you guys. <sighs> All right.
but I'll go a little bit longer and then I'm gonna answer your questions. I really can't wait to get to you guys' hating comments. Like I'm really excited about it. <laughs> Give me a minute, okay? You out of left field. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Sharp. Here we go. <laughs> We're looking at the male quality. Mm -hmm. Male quality, male man, a man, a man. Let's talk about I think we went too deep into metaphysics. Let's yeah. talk about what we <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Okay. I think that the man, if you're a man homo sapiens watching, the next quality you must have if you really want to be the man, you, you actually, get this, this is crazy to me, but you actually have to know how to interact with the female. Mm -hmm, totally. Because I, again, know men who are very strong, but they break where the female comes around. See, if a female can break you, you're not that much of a man. Totally. <laughs> you see? That's a nasty female, though. What do you mean? Well, okay, so I don't look at men. But say if a girl is in a relationship and yeah. she can break the guy, that is yeah. a nasty female. That is a man that you are dating. That is not a female. That Hold is on, like, but he's a bitch. Totally. Yeah. So it's his fault, actually. And she, and she will, like, not even... She will do it overtly, but then also like to check. Like nature, hey, is this nature, guy still still nature wants her. I, nature... I don't think with these things, but yeah. I see it. I understand. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nature wants her. Yeah. To destroy him mm -hmm. because if she can, he's not. He's not worth it. Ah. Yeah. I mean, you've yeah. been we've been together almost a year now, right? Yeah. In this <laughs> in this one year, many mm -hmm. times you, her, her, other girls have actually tried to sneakily destroy me. If you look back, you'll see arguments and disapprovals and mistakes mm -hmm. right are all attempts to destroy me okay but i've held myself together yeah you've now also seen from v to tamarin to gia is there any other girlfriends since you've been around is that three girlfriends now <laughs> you see me go through three breakups mm -hmm. and it's important to see that i there was a breakup but i didn't break that's important for people to see that you get that yeah. Okay. So a man is always being tested, just like the dogs will always taste, test you to see if you're alpha enough. Yeah. If you lose, if you lose a little bit of power around a dog, it's like, okay, I'm taking over now. Just like the fucking universe will test you. <laughs> totally. Like exactly. everything does. Your yep. friends will test you. Yep. The fucking universe will test you. Yeah. Your students. That's right. Okay. So a man must, in order to really get that male power going. He must learn how to deal with women. And this is where I come in right now on planet Earth. I'm teaching you guys how to deal with women. Mm -hmm. I'm like a fucking, what is it? Like I wield women. You know, like they wield swords and shit. Like, yeah. look at, I mean, look at this. If I, if I threw these four women <laughs> at anybody, <laughs> you could not resist. I could, I could literally crash any relationship that you have as a woman out there. Mm -hmm. If I got my girls together and we plotted like, okay, there's a chick over there with that relationship and I don't like her. Or there's a guy I don't like him. And I want <laughs> no. you four to seduce him. That's weird. No, but you would do it and it would be done. The fact is nobody could resist just them four. Mm -hmm. Forget if I brought five, six, seven in and I was like, okay, I'm actually going to throw seven hot ass girls who do whatever I say and I want to see how strong your relationship actually is. Yeah. Oh, you trust your man? Okay, ladies, let's test this out. <laughs> Everybody in underwear and bra, walk around over there. Mm -hmm. You would, you would go nuts. Mm -hmm. You would then realize that you, you, you can't, you can't stop this, right? And that's powerful. But I tell you something: the other way, it wouldn't work. If somebody threw four women at me with underwear on that were super hot, I actually could easily resist them without even anything. It's happened. I am in situations where girls want to have sex with me and I say no. It just happened in LA. I say no. So this is where the power comes in. Is as a man, you think you're very, very manly until you have to face a female and you realize you can't punch her. You can't kick her. All you have to be able to do is submit her. And she ain't going to submit to that. She's going to submit if you are man enough. And she's going to test you a thousand different ways to see if you're man enough. And if she could break you, it ain't working. Electra, what do you got to say? Yeah, well, okay. I like this subject. I like that 
you know, you are actually teaching men, you know, how to deal with a woman because, you know, we obviously come in contact with a lot of women, right? And one of the things is, is they, they're always like, dude, there's no men out there. Like it's <laughs> I hear fucked that the time. up, right? <laughs> we, you go, well, I got one. <laughs> yeah, totally. But they're just like, no, it's bad out there. And I, I, I can only imagine, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's bad. And Can women will just des- will destroy a man. <laughs> I know. What I mean? I We're know. fucking vicious. I know. I love that. Yeah. I love how vicious you guys are. <laughs> I mean, I really get the woman. Like, you know how I feel right now with this right here? I feel like I have four lionesses. You ever watch those, that guy on Facebook that has these lionesses and he's like wrestling with them and you're like, mm-hmm. oh my God, they'll eat him. Huh? That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. Like, this is a dangerous situation. <laughs> totally. To be in. You understand? This is a dangerous, no, no man can actually survive this moment. This is a dangerous moment. And you have to have total faith and trust in your lionesses, and they have to be totally submitted to you for this shit to take place. If she has a little problem, or she, or she, or even she, this dynamic would not fucking work out. And if, like, if any of us thought that like you couldn't handle a slight like exactly. even if it was just the littlest thing like mm-hmm. it would it would become something you know absolutely yeah. oh yeah I mean, i've been there yeah. i've made enough mistakes to know man shit it's not like I've, i haven't had my fucking share of scars from lion bites and claws <laughs> i'm scarred all over the fucking place with this shit okay we're gonna wrap this up okay short Short paragraph. Okay? Not a lecture. Okay. All right. No, no, no. (laughs) Hannah first. Okay, Hannah. Short, quick paragraph. Go. Well, I know that, like, learning how to utilize the both energies, the male and the female uh, energies, is, um, it's definitely an art. So, hearing you speak, I think, I, I don't know, like, it allows me to, to work with them a little bit differently and then I know for everyone watching and um, women especially like they need to learn how to right now what I see learn how to be more female so mm-hmm. it helps good Jessica let's go first okay Electra um yeah you know I, I felt like I've talked a lot but I, I you know again I this love is when you catch like off guard look at her no, get her I, oh yeah um, yeah I feel like I've talked a lot no Thank I you have for all that nonsense. I've, I've no, said everything no. I have to say on it I, I like the subject I like that mm. you are teaching it I think that men need to learn it like big time big time big time you know hopefully that you know something can obviously they're learning and things are changing because we can you know it's very visible that the students that are learning under you yeah. like it's starting to happen you know yeah there's a change happening and so the world. Manu was right yeah and and so it's like it'll just keep happening it'll balance out the whole entire world you know good you ready or no yeah okay yeah um so um this is very good for both men and women yeah, and totally. especially women too so you can understand how to be a lady as well as who you're with mm-hmm. and why you're not happy and why you're displeased mm-hmm. and questioning yourself and the same with the a male but I don't care about like that part I I think that a like, I don't speak for men. I speak for women. <laughs> that's good. So that's why I said I don't care about that part. Um, but as a lady, when you question yourself and you're just wondering, like, what the hell, you're actually not with a male because you wouldn't question yourself. You wouldn't question anything that you do because what you do is alongside with what he does. Mm-hmm. And that's something that you should understand and value and, like, appreciate. And you have to be honest to yourself and be honest to your mates and be honest to the people that you're around because once you lie like it's just it goes downhill from there it's bad news when you lie yeah like i have a thing about it but like you have to really get it like lying is just something that you cannot live with you cannot even think that like oh it's a little white lie no because the little white lie becomes something bigger and you have to understand that like you are here on this planet for this time being. God knows where you're going to go next. But for the moment, you have to just, like, look at it and be like, okay, 
Like, this is what a real relationship is. I'm actually in a false relationship, and I'm making myself believe that I'm happy when you're not. Oh, you know, we know they're not happy. Yeah. Okay, you just want to say hi? How was the lecture? They need to hear your voice. You don't have to go deep. Just, well, how was the lecture? Amazing. I learned so much. Yeah? How is it being live? Why are you so in love? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Well, there you go. That's the answer, too. There, there's a live demonstration of the lecture, okay? Thank you. All right. I'm going to uh, tuck my legs in, and I'm about to answer all your questions and comments in one second, okay? So okay. Can, I, can you take this for a second, Jessica? Let me tuck my legs. Mm. You guys should see Jessica's legs. You want to lick it. <laughs> no. You just want to lick it. Don't look at it or don't lick your legs? Both. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me see if I can answer these questions. And Now, questions and comments. Ready? Yeah. I'm close to having multiple girls and then cool with it. How do I lock it in? You have to study my game. Electra, get in the camera. Sorry, maybe I pushed it too far. <laughs> Just a tad bit. Okay. You're like, Phew. My bad, my bad. I didn't know that. I, I, was trying to get it. I was trying to get it so I could read it, but I guess I can read it over there. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. I can read it over there, okay? <laughs> okay, whoa. Can we just freaking do it or what? Can you do it? Yeah. Let's go. Hold on. I got, okay, go ahead. All right. Hannah, are you ready? Says White Wolf. Yeah. yeah, she's totally ready for you. I haven't lied since I found the teachings of the Buddha. Awesome, man. Male and female energy is expressed throughout our bodies. <coughs> that, that's why males have penises and women have vaginas. Think about the nature of each of them. Yeah, exactly. Um, perception is reality. Dan Pinya, good. She likes me, but is hesitant about me having other GFs. Yeah. Well... I get it. It's butt fucking degenerate. I think so. <laughs> Definitely. What are some great resources and examples other than you that shows perfect model of I don't see it except nature. Nature. I study nature. Go look out at every animal. They'll show you how it's done. Have you done your research on inner heaven? Okay, that sounds like some dumb shit. How do you handle women arguing with you? I don't argue with women. Mm -hmm. I tell them to shut up and leave. How can I grow more aggressive towards my goals? Do I have a hate situation I'm in? I'm mode of thinking. Do I have to be more aggressive? Listen. If you're not aggressive towards your goals, then your goals are not good enough. You have to have goals that wake you up early, that put you to bed late. You have to have goals that make you forget you're eating. You have to have goals that keep you in your fucking workplace and you're like, I forgot what time it was. Okay? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Shit. <laughs> okay, we got Hail Hannah, Hail Hitler. <clears throat> you spoke of defending your family. Is it moral to defend my white family from the watering down of societies? I feel as male is my duty to defend my tribe, procreate. I mean, when you say white, black family, it's just like, I don't get it. I said it's, you have to protect your family, and then you add an adj adjective that qualifies family. Why? Hannah Hale us, okay. How do I push her over the edge to go multiple women? She's almost down. No. I think you're missing something, dude. I think you're missing something because you don't have to push her. Mm -hmm. She just gets it. Yeah. I don't have to push them. Mm -mm. I just tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. Right? Tessa is not my girlfriend. Okay? But. Not she... yet. <laughs> 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 that is great. I love that. <laughs> okay. But nobody has a problem with her. Okay? So I don't have to, like, convince them. That's it. This is just how it's done. Can you share or talk about the short ritual you do before beginning of lectures? I can tell you that what I first thing I do is I focus on my breathing, then I look in, and then I make my mind go completely blank. Then, from that moment, it's like a radio channel. I tune into a frequency, and I catch it, boom. And when I catch it, I let it come in. And then I speak. And I've been speaking from there. One of my mentors says... Politic correction is the manifestation of low self. The word is lie. If I feel people use it in a way to adjust around other people's securities, I really don't understand that. A true alpha does not define himself by the females around him. Okay? On your palm, okay? Arash, do you ever do any rituals with your girlfriends? Yes, yes, but it, it's not like always, yes. Should you quit masturbating? Is it taking your power? No. Masturbate, masturbate. Great lecture, brother. Thank you. Hail Hannah. Okay. How big are Hannah's tits? Are they for hire? I've, I'm all over those titties. So <laughs> you can, um, hold on. You can, whenever you, you see it or see me, you could realize that she has a boyfriend and it's me and been all over those titties. Sometimes, randomly, I just walk by and grab her titties and put them in my face. 
that that's how incredible those cities are. <laughs> Was that a star of David? No, it's just a star. Oh. It's just a star. <coughs> Arash, when is the time to stop playing the game and feel comfortable telling your girl you have deep feelings? <laughs> it's part of playing the game. It's part of playing the game. All my girls now have deep feelings for them. Electra, you're like an eyeball. Well, you know, I have to be well, so I can close do it. to this. It's okay. No, and that you cover it. Thoughts on Jews? <laughs> I don't think about races like that. I don't, I don't think like that. Which Jew, specifically? Hell Hannah. Alpha have women, bro, but... Oops. Alpha have women, bro. He doesn't need them, but they all want his attention. True. Hannah is our girl now. Hail Hannah. How do I lock her in to be cool with me fucking other women? She's almost down. I'm saying she's not where you think she is. I think you have a mis... Um, judgment on her. I think she's about to leave you. Be careful. <laughs> in one of your videos, see? Yeah, in one of your videos you said you had some serious emotional issues long time ago. What were these and how did you overcome them? Let's see. Anxiety, insomnia, depression, um, introversion, doubt. I mean, any disease humans have had, I've had. Are you a Jew? No. My goal is Hannah. Cool. Well... Got shut your attention, whore ass up. Oh, someone's telling the other person. Great, fight me for Hannah. Okay, come, come, <laughs> come and get it. What come and get it. Saying? Who was the ultimate alpha male, and why was it Hitler? Okay, knowledge is power. The knowledge of power is powerful. Nature sees itself for what it is. Okay, cool. I enjoy your YouTube live stream as a lot. I live in Australia, and I feel like I can hang out with my idol. Dope. This is hanging out. We'll do it again Friday night. Yo. Yo, Raj, do you, do you and your girlfriends carry a yin-yang? What does that mean? What like does that mean? energy. Yeah. Right? Hannah's hole is my goal. Cool. Mm -hmm. Sounds like be the best, fuck the rest. Mm -hmm. If I come out to San Jose, can we kick it? Mm, I don't know. Possibly. Possibly. I can't say for sure. Uh, how do we accomplish our goals? You keep going for them. Which one of your girls was the most time-consuming to submit? Electra. White Reich is rising because she was also the first. So I didn't have the skills I have. Oh, when you say that, it brings me back to your parents' house every time. What do you mean? My first. <laughs> oh, my mom oh was my, my first. <laughs> <laughs> every time I hear that sentence, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Whites are awesome. Well, if you're white and you say that, congratulations. Okay, I disagree with defining yourself by something outside of yourself. Look inside. That's cool. Do your own channel and talk about it. Whites are awesome. Cool. Tell that truth. If you're white and you say that, that's great. Can you try without no shirt? Try simple with girls. Keep bra on. Could you shout out inner heaven? Inner heaven gang gang. How big are Hannah's tits and are they for her? We already answered that. Hannah is my girlfriend. Right. It looks like it. Do you recommend any good literature that will help me <coughs> pursuing my goals and motivation? Yes. Napoleon Hill. Any book by him is great. Could you shout out inner heaven? Do women like a don't give a fuck attitude? Absolutely. That's what the girl I was hanging out with today said. That's what she said. It was actually pretty funny. We're hanging out with the couch. Like, I didn't do anything with her, you know. I'm, I'm doing something else with this chick. And uh, she was like, you have a meeting at 8.30? I said, no, it's not a meeting. I said, it's a beautiful girl. One of my girls, she's coming by. She goes, oh, I thought you said you have a meeting. I said, no, it's a beautiful girl. I said, well, you and I, go. we just hung out and... Like you didn't do anything for my. This is what I told. Her. I said you didn't do anything for my dick at all. So that's cool. Whatever the fuck it is, I said. But the next chick is going to, and that's the difference between you and her. And she was like, "No fucks given, huh?" It's the first time we're hanging out. I said, "Absolutely no fucks given, mm -hmm. actually." And she started laughing so hard, and you could just see the attraction pick up. Like this fucking guy. I was like, "Yeah, you should wait to see her, actually." And I had her wait, and the other girl came, and then Kessel came, and I was calling. I was like, "Where are you? Come meet everybody." Did you steal the quote, be the best, fuck the rest, from the movie Hackers? Shut fuck up. no. Manu Tupo told me that, my teacher. They said, mess with the best, die like the rest. Okay, so that's not be the best, fuck the rest, actually. All right, two minutes and we end this, okay? Present to the, mo present to the moment. New Hitler is coming. Beautiful Jew, Jewess says, you have there, you look like Arab king. Shout out. Inner, inner heaven, inner heaven. This is just spam, 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 spam. Spam, spam, spam. No, no. Oh. Did Mono have better game than you? No way. <laughs> Nobody has better game than me. Are we going to see a video of your Mono, Mono Hollywood speech? 
Actually, it's going to go on sale tonight at 10. I forgot to make a video for 24 hours for 269. How do we know the exact times of your day live streams? Uh, there's no exact time. Normally, when Jess and I are leaving the house, I do it mid uh, in the morning. Midday, if I'm, I'm with Hannah tomorrow. So I'll probably do live stream midday with her. And I'm trying to do one at night when I'm around. So Otherwise, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday are my, my um, Whoa, lectures. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Totem farted. <laughs> Jess is cracking the fuck up. Yeah, could you shout in there? I'm in Long Beach. Dope. Motorboat those tits. Yvette, good night to watch the ladies. Great lecture. To Yvette. Everybody say bye to Yvette. Bye. Bye, bye honey. Okay, uh, Tony G. Pussy must be clean and serene. Arash, if one of your girlfriends have a smelly cunt, do you get pissed at them? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's gross, but they don't, so. <laughs> they know how I am about it. I think they all go to the bathroom before we hang out. Always, like... I think they super scrub or some Ew. shit. <laughs> they don't want to have a smelly pussy. Like that, I am not okay with that. <laughs> do you know how many women think they don't have a smelly pussy and they do? It's, oh, gross. it's gross. No, I've never talked to a woman who thought that she had a smelly pussy. But over 80% have smelly pussies. Ew. Because they don't realize that walking around all day, it's your inside, bitch. Mm -hmm. Right? It's your inside. Mm -hmm. Like, like we're going inside of you and it smells. So you actually, before you hang out with a guy, if you're a woman watching this later, if you're going to hang out with a guy, just go to the fucking bathroom know. and scrub yourself real quick. Take, do whatever you got to do. You know what's worse is when you can walk by them and it smells like a freaking fish market. And it's you're disgusting. just like, yeah, it's happened a couple times. Okay, it's Nick's wrong. the white thing. We must defend our people. We choose our people. I agree, we must not whittle ourselves into corners. However, my point stands. Is it more to find your people and defend yours? I think so. For me, it is. But your people, like let's say, for example, I'm not the same genetic race as her. I'm not the same genetic race as her or her or her, right? But these are my people. So you see the difference? My people is not defined by my race. It's defined by my purposes, beliefs, and the people around me. That's different. So if you're just going to go by your race, your own race will betray you many times. So be smart. Electra, you seem really upset. I can't have you do this Wait, anymore. My, That's enough. My back is That's enough. You're fucking up my vibe. Well, it'll be better now. I just needed to crack it. Well, then say something. I didn't know that. It, just, it was just Okay, hurting. get on the camera. Okay, one minute. How do I come off as being high status even though I'm broke as fuck? Well, be very, very, very confident, very, very um, intelligent, be a great communicator, and offer people a great experience when they're around you. You don't need money. Okay, I didn't have money before. The cult was Eve, was Eve who deceived Adam. Yeah, but Adam was stupid enough to be deceived. Mm, true. Are you a gorilla dick daddy? Hmm. Ask your mom. <laughs> One book recommendation on random. Dianetics by Ron Hubbard. I used to lie to get women, but Arash taught me that truth is the way of a real man. Being truthful has gotten further than lying. Look at that shit. Isn't that great? It was Eve who deceived Adam. Okay, Arash, with which, with which others PUAs you hang out besides Vince Kelvin? Hypnotica, Mystery, Discovery, um... That's about it, I think. Don't you, um, like, make other people that, though? I make them into PUAs? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But, like, known ones. Uh, no, I'm not going to say that. I, yeah. I give them a better stage, but yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, one minute, guys. Matthew, keep going. Shout out, inner heaven, you nigger. Oh, really, dude? Like, really? Like, how old are you? Is girls has tattoos on their boobs? No. What well, time Friday for the next lecture? And I'm drinking scotch, 1792, and Friday, 1030. You should enable super chat payments on your live streams. It lets people tip you with money during the live stream when you say something great. Really? That's cool. cool. Can you look into that? Okay, that, thanks, man. Super chat? Oh. You can Venmo, PayPal. Why don't you just Google it? <laughs> what has been the most uh, inspirational book you found? <sighs> Too many, dude. Hell yeah, says Matthew. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. These guys rock. God bless you all. Good. Weren't you guys haters? Can all of your girlfriends and you, Arash, throw up peace signs at once? Loyal follower. Why? We could throw up a middle finger. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Arash, like enable this your live stream. All right, everybody. I've, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for attending. And uh, I hope you share this and I hope you got something out of it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I go live throughout the day a lot of times. 
and I put a lot of other videos as you'll see. Um, Friday night at 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'll go on another lecture. August 2nd, 2017, which is coming up, will be a new release of my product called Supernatural, Unleash, Unleash the Force of Nature Within You. And uh, I highly recommend you get it. Follow me on Instagram at Arash Zapar IMC. Arash Zapar IMC. And also, if you haven't been to the website, Arash Zapar D Bazaar. Oh no, Arash Zapar.com. <laughs> That's where you get all my products. And the one that you need to start with is called Diamond Mind. Mm -hmm. It's a monthly subscription. I coach you daily. Okay? All right. As Manu Tupo said to me, be the best, fuck the rest. Remember that loyalty is royalty, and we represent IMC Nation. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Let's see.